just a short video about a couple of three inch classic reels. Uh, one of them made by Hardy's, which has been on the go for over a hundred years, and a fairly newcomer made by a company called VR Trutter, based in the Ukraine, uh, and they make beautifully engineered reels. Um, the Ukrainian reels are distributed by uh, uh, Thomas Turner in the UK, or you can order direct. Right, I'll just uh, start off with the Ukrainian reel, give you an idea what we're looking at. Yeah. Obviously that's the uh, leather case for the reel that comes supplied with it. You also, you also get an Allen key to help you remove the spool. It's a lovely traditional reel, click action, beautifully engineered. There's sort of, there's no play on any part of the reel. Uh, the spool is suspended on two high quality ball bearing races. Uh, I've taken some close up images of the reel so it, uh, I'll put them on the screen so you can get an idea of how well put together the reel is and providing I remember to turn it in the opposite direction to remove this nut at the front here. This reel is also available in uh, like a, an aluminium finish or in a a goldy alloy finish. So there we are, let's see. That's the spool off. Really nicely engineered. And this reel gives you, which is unusual on these small trout reels, you get a rim control with it. So a simple check spring and check mechanism. Parts are readily available. Now I'm going to put the spool back to the mount, making a complete idiot of myself. Oh, here we go. spool back on. It's got a lovely traditional check mechanism. Put it next to the microphone and get an idea of how it's done. Every part of it is really well finished. So I'll give you an idea of the weight. That's 5.83 ounces, and you can say there's about an ounce of line and back in on there. This is a, a double tapered four line, floating four lines on that reel at the moment. I might as well give you some measurements while I've got the inch tape out. So it's Get on three inches. And the width of the reel is just one and seven eighths. The reel foot size is a standard size.
Now this little hardy reel is the only reel that I've previously owned and sold and uh, I've repurchased because I enjoyed using it so much in the past. So, three inches, it's the hardy reel is quite similar to the perfect hardy perfect reels. So you have a, a screw that holds it together, which you have to remember to unwind in the unscrew in the opposite direction to what you think. When I got this real some hand-fisted devil at the factory, it tightened that screw up so tight that I was very close to destroying the, the screw head to remove it. So if anybody from Hardy's is listening, just tell your resident bodybuilder to back off when it comes to assembling the reels. So there we have a ball bearing race in there, spool. And quite a nice feature of the Hardy reel is that you have a, a spare check pour if everyone's needed. There is an adjustment for pressure, but it makes very little difference. But again, just like the Ukrainian reel, beautifully engineered. And this model has been on the go for over a hundred years. So it's really stood the test of time. People, people can still buy uh, one of these reels that's 50, 60 or more years old and uh, find that everything is still tight, still works well. And one thing they seem to have done recently is they've upped the quality of this uh, anodizing. It really is excellent. Hardys went through a bad period, in my opinion, in the 70s and 80s when the the anodizing left a bit to be desired. There we are, just that on. So what these reels are meant for is uh, short rods, you know, six to seven and a half foot rods for fishing, small rivers, streams, 5.7 very similar weight to the other reel and I say about an ounce again for the line. So size wise it's uh, three inch one is more like two and three quarters just over two and three quarters. And the overall width is like the other reel one and seven eighths. Anyway, either of these two reels will make an excellent buy for somebody, a sort of family heirloom, you can use them for donkey's years, providing you don't treat them roughly and they'll still fish beautifully. So thanks again for watching, bye for now.